What you're about to see may be considered disturbing. Patrolman Kevin Thompson was taking his normal route to work when all this unfolded right in front of him. Pictures from the scene show the horrors of drug abuse and the devastating impact it has on young lives. And we want to warn you again, you may find these pictures disturbing. In the back seat, a four-year-old boy in a dinosaur shirt. It's the picture of innocence. In the front, his mother, Rhonda Pasick, and driver, James Accord. I was on my way into work in my personal vehicle when I uh, started following a, a dark-colored Ford Explorer that was driving, for the most part, erratic. East Liverpool patrolman Kevin Thompson wasn't even on duty yet when he encountered the vehicle on St. Clair Avenue near Prospect Street. And it's one of those things, I mean, you're a police officer 24 hours a day, you know, even, you know, in your personal vehicle when you're, when you're, you're traveling to and from work. Here's where the story takes a frightening turn as the officer followed the vehicle down this hill. A school bus was directly in their path, letting kids off for the day. Thankfully, the suspect hit the brakes and skidded to a stop, avoiding any collision with the bus or students. Minutes, you know, could have meant the difference between, you know, how it, how it played out to what could have happened. You know, somebody could have been killed, seriously injured. Thompson approached the vehicle to find Pasek slumped over in the passenger seat and her son in the back. He took the keys out of the ignition when Accord tried to drive away, but it wasn't long before he too lost consciousness. Yeah, I saw like three or four police cruisers and there was two ambulances. Mike Stoffel lives nearby. He saw the commotion as responders revived the pair with naloxone and police officers comforted the child. Oh yeah, that's really bad. That it makes it 10 times worse. You know, they're doing it in front of the kid and the, the kid could have got killed. It, it, it's sad, you know, that, that this area has, has a, uh, a drug problem, a heroin problem, and, and this, is, this is what you're seeing. And, and the children, unfortunately, are, are one of the biggest victims of that. Children's Services was contacted and police tell us a neighbor is now caring for the boy. A court entered no contest pleas to charges of OVI and endangering children. He was sentenced to 360 days in jail. Pasek pleaded not guilty to endangering children in public intoxication. She's due back in court next week. Reporting live in the News 9 newsroom, Jessica Haberly, News 9.